Hi, I'd like to show you Harmonic Explorer. You can find it here on my website, DaveBesoft.com. Make it a little bigger here. Well, what are we seeing? Right now we're in the key of C. This is a harmonic series. In a harmonic series, we've changed to the key of F now, starts at a fundamental frequency and has overtones, which are all the elements of the series except the fundamental. And now we're in B flat. And uh, the series is determined by multiplying the frequency of the fundamental by integers. So this is one times the fundamental frequency. This is, now we're in E flat, one times, two times, three times, four times. So um, in music, an octave represents a doubling of the frequency. So one times the fundamental, two times the fundamental, this is an octave above, and then this is a fifth above. Um, okay, so what kinds of things can we do with this? Well, what should we look at? We can change the sound of it. This is a sine wave, which is very pleasing. Here's a triangle. Sawtooth, which I really don't like. Yikes. And a square wave. We'll go back to sign. Then there's vibrato. Let me turn the vibrato off. Now you should hear just tones right on a single frequency. And just to exaggerate it a little bit here. Hear that? speed up or slow down the vibrato with this. Then the vibrato has its own wave type and you're hearing the sine wave, so you're getting a smooth vibrato, smoothly going up and down in pitch. But if we change it to uh, square, see if you can hear the difference. You should definitely hear the difference. Dee -dee 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 -dee. It's abruptly changing between the two, between two levels. So that's square. Here's sign again. Okay, let's set these back to some reasonable levels here. Also notice that once each shape here is launched, it retains the settings of the vibrato and the wave type and so forth until it's gone. It's only, these only take effect when a new shape is launched from the bottom. All right, let's play around with the number of harmonics. If I set this all the way to, he to here, we only have a single harmonic, this is the the fundamental frequency. And as we change keys, you see it changes position here. So the C is here, E flat is about this much over, and we're changing by the cycle of fourths. So let's let it change once. It should go to A flat. So here's where A flat is on this. Then we add another harmonic, which is one octave above. I went one more than I wanted. So now you should hear the fundamental and then the octave above. Now we've changed keys again. Uh, now let me add some more. Also I can increase the generation speed so that there's more happening. Oh, here's an interesting thing. I'll come back to the harmonics. Listen what happens when you have some of them play a little bit out of tune. And you can see that they're out of tune. See how this is not aligned with the line? 
it's a little bit to the right of it, which means this one is a little sharp. Here's one's a little flat, perhaps, a lot flat. And you can make this really awful. Isn't that something? So I'll reset that. And now let's add more harmonics. So here's a lot. And as you get higher up, they get closer together. And here's just the whole lot. Okay, back to something normal. Uh, okay, so in a in an upcoming video, I'll walk through the code of this for those of you who are interested in how it works. <laughs>